So one of the exercises that I frequently do with my students, if they're into it, and if I know them, it's not something I'll generally do with a student I don't know, but uh, I'll sit here in the chair. And uh, I'll sit here in the chair, and I'll have the student lie down on the floor. So I'm going to take both positions just to kind of show you uh, what I do. And I'll just have them talk to me while I've got their legs here. And I'll just slowly and unpredictably, but very gently, move my legs and help them try to locate, become aware of unnecessary tension, unnecessary muscular hoarding, and let it go. And I find that most people cannot speak without tensing their legs, and that's unnecessary because most people that take uh, like regular Alexander lessons, such as daily Alexander technique teacher training, almost always by the end of the second year, if not earlier, they can speak without tensing. And, uh, and it's really striking because when, when most adults I, I work with, and there's just so much tension and so much, it's almost all unnecessary tension in the legs. They, they can't say anything important, just like the more important it is to a person to say something, the more the legs tense. And that was the same with me. I remember the first time a teacher did this exercise with me, and like I was trying to say things to her, and the more important it, it became to me, the more I would tense my legs, and I wasn't able to let them go until probably some time in my second year. So I'm the teacher up here, and so this is what I'll be doing, just, um, just working with the student from up here. And now I'm going to take the student's role. I need a, about an inch and a quarter of head support under my head, but uh, yeah, that will vary with the person. Some people need no head support, but I need about an inch. So if I'm in the student's role here, you know, I'm lying on the floor, then I've got my legs up in the chair. I'll give another angle on what I'm doing here. So if it's a student, they'll be here. I'll be gently moving their legs and uh, trying to help them locate and release the unnecessary tension. So I'll be g gently holding their legs and I'll be moving their legs. They won't be moving them. I just want them to surrender control of their legs. Let me move them. But this is also a great exercise to do just to take take the pressure off your lower back. So anyone can do this. It's kind of a variation on active rest or semi-supine. And it just feels so good on the lower back. It just allows everything to release and expand. So that's one variation on active rest. Here's another favorite variation of mine for active rest. So you line up right even with the wall, with your head support you know, behind you to support your head. And uh, I'm just 12 like this. Then you think your directions. So you think about directing from your hips to your knees, from your knees to your feet. Think about the width across your chest and across your back. Think about allowing the neck to be free so the head can release it away from the torso. And then standard active rest. Okay, semi supine. It's 
hair like this. And this is just the form, so the Alexander technique comes in with the thinking. So again, you think about having the neck to be free so the head can release away from the torso. Think about the width across your back. Think about the length of your torso. And direct to your elbows and to your hands. Direct from your hips to your knees, from your ankles to your knees. And uh, probably an ideal time to do this is probably 20 minutes. But two minutes is better than nothing. Once a day, better than nothing, but twice a day is better than once a day. And he allows the back to unlock. Often I, I will feel some pain when I first lie down because it's the back kind of unlocking from its needless muscular holding. And you just feel the back unlock, come to your full length and width, and just kind of expand. The breathing works more efficiently, the lungs really start to move, the ribs release. Then, another exercise that I love to do, like lie on your stomach. And thinking about your head releasing away from your torso, thinking about the width across your back, allowing your neck to be free. Think about the width across your chest and across your back, and the length of your torso. Come down, rest for a few seconds. And directing from your tailbone to the top of your head, directing across your chest and across your back, so you're widening into this activity. And as many people kind of compress into this activity, so you don't really want compression. You want to let go of needless compression. Allow the neck to be free, the head releases away from the torso, widening across the chest and across the back. You can also come into child's pose. Oh, got a little cramp in my foot. Think about your length. Neck is free, head's releasing away from the torso. 